Hello, I'm Jani Valtari and I'm the Technology Center Manager at AVP Distribution Solutions in Finland. Today I'm going to guide you through a couple of topics that are close to my heart, namely centralized protection and control and virtualization of protection and control. I wrote my doctoral thesis on the topic of centralized protection. My assistant here today to help us understand these topics is this digitalization panel that you see in the background. But to start things off, I will briefly say some words about the background. The reasons why centralized protection and control is the solution to many of the challenges facing utilities today. There are many reasons for centralized protection and control. There is a growing need for flexible and intelligent devices in substations to meet the increasing amount of distributed energy resources such as solar and wind. These are being introduced to meet the stringent net zero requirements and enable a low carbon society. The ongoing changes in the electrical grid have a great impact on protection and control schemes and requires new or advanced functions. This brings increasing demand for flexibility, reliability and safety. In parallel, there is tremendous pressure to need to upgrade aging infrastructure and automate with smaller investments, yet at the same time deploy faster and to do upgrades inexpensively and optimize lifecycle handling of all the devices and ensure the latest cybersecurity requirements are met. Further volatility in the landscape is brought in by shortage of experienced people to manage these increasingly complex installations as well as the changes in the expectations users have on the systems. With centralized protection approaches we can address all these challenges and many more. As a solution to meet these challenges, there are centralized protection and control. The concept of centralized protection and control is not new, but it took until we have made significant advancements in computing technology and international standards. Today, we have reached the maturity level to make this a feasible alternative for modern substations. In simple terms, it means that we have moved the intelligent parts, the protection algorithms, of conventional protection and control relay into one centralized device. When we have all this intelligence in one place, it takes flexibility to a whole new level, as it makes extensions and modifications and renewals easier. Instead of adding new devices or re-engineering or rewiring existing ones, you only need to update the software of this one centralized device. In other words, you can more easily adapt your protection schemes for the changing grid. With centralized device, you have everything visible in one place and can control the substation for one user interface. ABP's centralized protection and control solutions are compliant with international standards such as the IEC 6250 standard, which is a standard supported by all the major manufacturers. This ensures the solution's compatibility and interoperability in multi-vendor environments. So, to sum it up, there are many benefits with centralized protection solutions. The main ones being increased flexibility, convenient station-wide visibility, minimal engineering and easy and cost-efficient process management. Now, Let's take a closer look at the digitalization panel and the solutions ABP has. The digitalization panel is a demonstration panel where we have installed several devices. We often include this panel at ABP stand when we attend different exhibitions. Here on top you see SSC 600 device. It is our all-in-one turnkey solution for centralized protection. With this option you get type-tested hardware and software from ABP including ABP's warranty and global support. This device has been in our offering already since 2019 and is handling the protection and control of many substations worldwide. Then down here, in this black computer, we have installed the virtualized option for centralized protection, SSC 600 software. This is the new thing. SSC 600 software is the world's first virtualized protection and control solution and we launched this product in January 2023. 
SSC Sixer software offers the same protection and control functionality as SSC Sixer device, but it is made available as a standalone software. This means you can freely select the off-the-shelf hardware on which to run it. Here in our digitalization panel, used an example is this server. But SSC Sixer software can also be installed and used with other manufacturers' hardware that meets the requirements. If the performance of the chosen hardware is enough, it could even run the functionalities of several SSC 600s. And that way we can reduce the amount of devices needed in the substation. Here, in the middle, we can see Reliant Protection Relays and SMU 615 merging units. When you combine SSC 600 or SSC 600 software with these devices, you get highly customizable, cost-effective protection and control solutions. How it works is that the merging units measure the currents and voltages and digitalizes these measurements. It sends them to SSC 600 or SSC 600 software. Based on the measurements, SSC 600 runs the protection algorithms, for example, overcurrent or distance protection. When needed, it sends the control commands back to the merging units, which then operate the breaker. In addition to protection, SSC 600 also offers functionalities like station HMI, which you can see here in the screen. Centralized protection is not possible without digital communication, which is enabled by the Ethernet switches over here and accurate time synchronization over here. These devices you can see here at the bottom of the panel. I hope you've enjoyed learning a few bits and pieces about centralized and virtualized protection and control and all the benefits these approaches have to offer. To learn more, I recommend that you head over to our centralized protection campaign page or reach out to your local ABP representatives. Thank you for watching.